The stakes of this Supreme Court vacancy are enormously high for everyone who cares about civil and human rights. And let me tell you, this is not a hypothetical threat. This is real. The court plays a critical role as a backstop against institutions that seek to curb our civil and human rights. Everything is at stake in this fight. This may be the most consequential fight of our lifetimes, even bigger than the election of Trump himself because the consequences of an extreme ideologue being placed on the Supreme Court will last not only for our generation, but for our kids' and our grandkids' generation. Recent decisions have demonstrated just how profound the impact is of the Supreme Court. Whether you care about access to health care or a woman's ability to control her own body, and whether Roe versus Wade will remain the law of the land, or immigrant justice, criminal justice, LGBTQ rights, voting rights, the list goes on and on. Fundamentally, our very democracy is at stake and hangs in the balance with this vacancy. Precisely because the stakes are so high, there should be no consideration of any nominee until the people have spoken and voted in November. Senators need to put country over party to make sure that Trump cannot take over the court for the next 40 years. This is not an inside the beltweight fight or a Washington DC fight. We need everyone in all parts of the country to be talking to their senators about what's at stake and why we need them to be an independent check on the president. We can't let President Trump rewrite the Constitution and roll back civil and human rights to decades before. We have to press forward. And here's the thing, we know that we can win this fight. The only thing that will get in our way is our own cynicism. There is an energy right now in the country that is deep and profound, and we are seeing millions of people who never before thought of themselves as activists engaging because they understand that at this moment, we are fighting to save the soul of our nation.